The UK rate of inflation, the pace that, of which prices are rising, is officially 5.5%. It strikes me if you consider the rising price of petrol, food and other necessities, prices are going up much faster than that each year, certainly for the less well-off, with a much higher spare of spending on necessities. This Russia-Ukraine conflict has, of course, led to spiralling energy prices. While attention's rightly focused on the ghastly humanitarian fallout, it's impossible to ignore that Russia supplies 40% of Western Europe's gas and 10% of the entire world's oil supply. With the West now partially banning Russian oil exports, the price of crude has soared. Back in December, oil averaged around $70 a barrel. So far in March, the peak price hit $138, almost twice as much, although it's since fallen back. The price of gas has soared even more. This time last year, gas was 16 euros per megawatt hour. That's the main unit of sale on European wholesale markets. The peak this March has so far been 335 euros, almost a 21-fold increase. This energy price turmoil helps explain why petrol and diesel are hurtling now towards £2 a litre, 60% more than a year ago. And also why household utility bills, already set to go up 54% in April, will likely now rise even more. Figures like these make a mockery of official claims that annual inflation is around 5 or 6%. Consider also Russia as a major producer of wheat and other crops, millions of tonnes of which are shipped out via the Black Sea, which is now mired in conflict. Many leading sea freight companies have already banned goods from Russia. They won't handle Russian produce, and that's causing food prices to spiral at a time when UK farmers are paying more for both fuel and for fertilizer. And that means the price of food grows at home is also set to rise. The Resolution Foundation think tank says... The chances of living standards recovery this year are receding as rapidly as inflation is rising and the risk of another recession is looming into view. Researchers say that with the poorest tenth of households spending twice as much of their budget on food and fuel as the richest, they're likely to be hardest hit, experiencing an inflation rate of perhaps 10 percent. Another think tank, also very influential, the New Economics Foundation, says that by April, a third of households may be unable to meet the cost of some basics. That amounts to 23.4 million people. And almost 40 percent, half of children, are included in this category, says the New Economics Foundation, living in struggling households. Now, on the 23rd of March, that's Wednesday next week, Rishi Sunak delivers his spring statement. As the cost of living squeeze tightens, the Chancellor's under huge pressure to act. On the same day, new inflation data will be published. And whatever that new number is, be it 7 or even 8 percent, there will be millions of UK households for whom prices are rising much faster. And that's our on-the-money question today. Why is inflation so much higher for the poor than the rich?